Everybody will be mad if I don't get your Instagram. Today I'm at Bangkok Drag Avenue for a very special quarter mile event, Turbo Diesels. This event is strictly nothing but full-blown dragsters and carbon body tube chassis turbo diesel race cars and race trucks. If you want to see some coal being rolled, you're in the right place. I got here early to walk around the paddock and check out these trucks. Some of them are full carbon, giant turbos, and then most of them are actually using the 4JJ engine, which comes out of the D-Max. It's actually the same engine that was in a lot of the Thai long tail river boats that I've ridden in. This is the engine here. It's a massive four cylinder, like 3.0. A lot of them use compound twin setups. I'm really digging this SUV. Every other vehicle on this property is styled to look like an Isuzu pickup truck. These guys decided to do something different and a little bit more original and go with the SUV. I know this is just a tube chassis race car with like a molded custom body put over that tube chassis, but I don't know, it just makes it more unique and I dig it. Dude, look at how far the engine actually sits back into the firewall. That is nuts. Bro, these things are wild. I cannot wait to see them race tonight. It'll probably be a little bit later once the sun goes down and the temperatures drop. It is the beginning of summer here in Thailand and it's 100 plus degrees during the day. Look at that thing. He's got a titanium exhaust. Oh, that is sick, dude. I like it. Sorry, cop. I like your exhaust. Uh, it's all nice, man. I dig it. <laughs> Thai people put titanium exhaust on everything. Is that not crazy? The roof wall is at my waist. When you're sitting in this thing, you have to be like, I don't even know if I would fit. Dude, there's no way I'm going to be able to fit in this thing. Uh, oh shit yeah i kind of fit oh my god this thing is ridiculous dude shit i cannot imagine piloting this thing at like 200 miles per hour down the track I didn't even notice till I got out of it that this one's left hand drive and I asked why and they said it was for weight distribution. All the turbos and the manifold blow off valve and waste gates and all that are actually on the right side. I assume it's just easier to put the person on the left side than swap the entire turbo system to the left side of the engine. As you can see, trucks are going on the scales. This means it's time for qualifying. So we're going to get a little bit of racing in before the sun goes down. This is the pro modified class. They're all 3.0 four cylinder turbo diesels. First pass of the day, and that was at 855. You saw he did have a little bit of problems on the 60 foot, but I'm gonna show you guys something. This is the track surface that we're racing on. Any other track in the world, you walk across it and your shoes will instantly come off. Not here at Bangkok Drag Ave. Track prep is basically non-existent. <laughs> And just like every car event here in Thailand, there's a bunch of hot girls. What else did you expect? Hello. Everybody will be mad if I don't get your Instagram. What's your Instagram? Instagram, Instagram look me so hot, huh? Okay, cop. Okay, huh? I will have many people follow you, okay? Okay. 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 
นึ่งสองหนึ่งหกครับอานุบาลีอินครับแล้วก็สองศูนย์สามครับมินเทน่าครับจากพยามเวกครับผมส่วนชูชิงที่สามครับก็เป็นเจตนาลิยงครับกลับหน้าเออสองศูนย์เก้าดีเมนน่าเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวนับหนึ่งสองสามวัดที่ยี่สิบแล้วแข่งแล้วสามได้มาหน่อยครับ All of these cars are also the three-liter Isuzu 4JJ engine, but they're two chassis cars, full-blown carbon body race cars that should run into the sevens. <laughs> You have to remember, this country has a 300% import duty tax on any car that is not manufactured within the country, but imported in. And back in the day, when people were first starting to get automobiles and the country of Thailand were starting to evolve, Isuzu's, because they're made here in Thailand, was the go-to truck. People used them as work trucks and then modified them and raced them after they got off work. Because, well, Thai people race everything. The turbo diesel D-Max is like Thailand's 69 Camaro or 57 Bel Air to us Americans. It's just the quintessential go-to vehicle for anybody in Thailand. Even my friends that are multi-millionaires and own 20 plus cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris, thousand horsepower GTRs, Every single one of them has a D-Max in their garage. It's time for the big boys to come out to play. These dragsters make well over 1,500 wheel horsepower and push 2,000 wheel torque. These things are fucking fast. Another question that's guaranteed to be asked is why are they not racing side by side like know. we do back home in America? Bangkok Drag Avenue is a very old, narrow, rarely maintained, and never prepped track surface. For this reason, the cars that are this fast, they insist on running solo. I cannot imagine the feeling strapping into that thing, knowing what's about to happen. And that is officially the first six second pass ever in the country of Thailand from a turbo diesel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you are subscribed with post notifications on, and I'll see you again in another video very soon.